I freaked out. How could they do this? I was, I was pretty upset. Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited today because we are going to be talking handbags, specifically about one particular handbag, the stunning Bottega Sardine. So let's take a real close look at this bag. So the Bottega Sardine comes in this size, which is like a so I'd say like a medium size. It also comes in a much smaller size that has a long strap. I personally prefer this medium size. I think it's easier for every day, it fits a lot more, and it's really fun to style. One of the most notable features of this bag is the handle, the gold handle that looks like a sardine, which is where it gets its name from. It's a super eye-catching feature of the bag, and it's something that the brand is doing again and again. So from that perspective, I do think that it is worth the investment. So I got this bag late fall, early winter, and I remember when I unpacked it, and I saw all these little marks on the handle, and I freaked out, because I was like, oh my god, I've got a faulty piece, how could they do this? I was. I was pretty upset and then, much to my embarrassment, the sales associate was like, no, 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 that's, that's like what it's supposed to look like, that's a part of the bag, that's a part of the design. I was like, what? I went online and I looked really closely and it's true, these little like markings are a part of the design of the bag. I'm not really sure why it's like that. I don't know why they decided that it needed like little teeth marks. Um, and I'd say that it's definitely my least favorite thing about the bag. I do kind of wish that this part was just solid without the little markings, but it is pretty minor and when you hold it, you don't notice it that much. Um, so it is still very, very cool. It's just like one of the things about the bag that I didn't know and I actually don't like. Moving on, it's in the iconic Bottega weave. You really can't go wrong. It's so stunning and so iconic for the brand. So I feel like any bag with the weave is worth investing in. I also love the beautiful leather work with the knot here. I think that that is also really stunning and kind of reminds me of the Bottega knot clasp from back in the day. In terms of the actual inside of the bag, it has these two like magnetic buttons to hold it closed and it has no pockets on the inside at all. It's just like a pouch. <laughs> that being said though, it fits a lot. So you can see it's a pretty good size. Um, I can probably fit like my phone, my notebook, all my essentials. So it's a really good bag for that and for every day because it fits everything that you would need. It does not have a strap, so it has to be either like held, like top handle, or I guess you could sort of, you could do this, you could put it here in this part of your arm, whatever that's called, I don't know. You definitely cannot use it as a shoulder bag because look, it's like super strange and then you can't actually put it down, it, it's, no, it doesn't work. It definitely looks amazing when you hold the top handle, which is what I prefer. It comes in lots of colors, but I just loved this really deep red. It's almost brown, which makes it really easy to style no matter the season, whether it's summer or winter. So from that perspective, I think it's a really unique color. The other color that I am obsessed with though in this style is the white. Again, a stunning statement. It would look incredible no matter the season, but probably much more difficult to maintain, especially if you're using it every day and you're a little bit clumsy like me, then I think that this is probably a better color. <laughs> I think that's everything there is to say about this bag. I think it's a stunning bag, but if you have any questions or wanna know anything more, drop me a comment below and let me know. I will be happy to answer it for you. Till then, you can keep up with everything that I'm up to on my Instagram, at Shloka and we have lots of exciting things coming up, so don't forget to hit subscribe for my YouTube channel, and I will see you again next week. If you have any requests for any handbags that you'd like to see reviewed that you see in my collection, either on my Instagram or on my TikTok, let me know, and we'll have lots more of these videos coming soon. All right, guys, 